ask me anything in my name. Apply the scientific method to test Jesus' promises. Amongst Jesus' many astonishing sayings, he made this astounding promise. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. The scientific method involves the testing of ideas, hypotheses, by observing the outcome of an experiment. Hypotheses come from a set of ideas, propositions, called a theory. Before testing an hypothesis, one must first understand the theory, and accept that verifiable results are possible, even if one has some doubts about it. Our theory, propositions, 1. There is an invisible, holy God who created the material world. 2. This God has come into the world by becoming a man, Jesus Christ. 3. Jesus performed many verifiable, miraculous works. 4. We human beings can obtain similar results. 5. God answers the prayers of those who ask in Jesus' name. Our Null Hypothesis Prayers addressed to God, formulated in Jesus' name, will produce no result. Our Experiment We shall offer up prayers to God, asking in Jesus' name, then observe any results, keeping a written record of requests, dates and apparent results if any. Definition Ask in Jesus' name, in speaking requests to God, make mention of the fact that we seek to test Jesus' promise. Limits and Parameters 1. We shall make requests that we believe would please a holy God. 2. We shall make several requests that would entail different results. 3. We shall ask for verifiable results. 4. We shall wait for results within an agreed time span. 5. We shall ask several witnesses to verify the results. 6. We may repeat this experiment before retaining or rejecting the null hypothesis. Precautions those who do not admit our theory, may not accept our results. The theory may require us to follow other lines of investigation, before we accept it as a working model. If the theory should prove true, then we may be obligated to meet certain other requirements. Thus, the scientific method coincides with a basic theological principle, revealed in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the Word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. Without faith it is impossible to please Him, for whoever would draw near to God, must believe that He exists, and that He rewards those who seek Him.